Welcome to Ruger Tech Tips. We're going to talk today about how to reverse the charging handle on the Ruger LC Carbine in 45 Auto. It's slightly different than the Ruger LC Carbine in 5.7 millimeter. Now, I'm starting out here with a disassembled upper receiver from a 45 Ruger LC Carbine. It's not entirely necessary to completely disassemble the firearm as long as you've properly removed the ammunition and double checked to make sure it's clear before you begin. I'm going to put on my safety glasses and we're going to start with the included 8th inch hex wrench. That's going to go inside the charging handle here. We're just going to loosen that up. There's a bolt that needs to be removed. Okay. All right. Once that's removed, we're going to set that aside right here. And we're going to slide this piece out. Just set that on the table for later. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn it over and on this cover plate there is a little detent that needs to be pushed in. You need to use a very fine punch or I'm actually going to use a really small Allen wrench to push that detent down and it is spring-loaded that's why we're wearing safety glasses and we also have to be very careful not to lose these parts. So I'm going to press down hard on it and once I get it pressed in enough, I'm going to start it backward, just enough so that it's still retained. Okay, So you can see I have just started to move this cover plate back. If I move it back any further, that spring-loaded detent is going to pop out. So what I need to do is put my thumb or hand over this just to hold it in place. Just a little bit, now it's popped free. And you can see here's the detent, here's the cover plate. I'm going to remove this cover plate and I can turn this over and the pieces of the detent come out. I'm going to set those right here. And then finally I'm going to go back to the other side of the receiver. This is the detent retainer and to get that out you need a very small flat tipped screwdriver, very sharp screwdriver. We're going to get that onto the detent retainer and just back that out. It's actually a screw. And we're going to turn the receiver over again and we're going to put that back in on the other side. So, right in the same spot, opposite side, using our screwdriver. We're just going to snug that down, not too tight. Okay. And we can put our pieces back in. So we're going to start with spring and this small piece here. That's going to get loaded into the hole. And then finally, this detent with the point facing up is going to sit on top of that spring. And now the cover plate goes on to this side. You're going to line up the back of the cover plate with the cut on the receiver and we're going to slide that into the slot up to the point where it hits the detent and then we need to very carefully press that down again wearing our safety glasses and, and trying to keep it covered so we don't lose any parts. We're going to press that down enough to get the cover plate started over it slide the cover plate forward until it pops into place. Now you can see that detent protruding through the cover plate. Come back over to the other side and we're going to reinstall our charging handle with the uh, bolt facing forward or the, with, with the hole facing forward. Push it all the way onto the detent. Grab our handle, put start that through the hole and our 1 8 inch Allen wrench, tighten that on, and that has been reversed now so that our charging handle is on the right side of the receiver instead of the left side of the receiver. And it still detents in the forward position as a non-reciprocating charging handle. That's reversing the charging handle on the Ruger LC Carbine in 45 Auto. Thank you for watching this Ruger Tech Tip.